Hello and welcome back to Pokemon Coliseum with me, Matthew Gaddis, aka Poogie. So today we will get to the final trainer down these stairs and hopefully try and catch up with Venus. And yes, um, believe it or not, we are at the very bottom of these steps, guarding the exit to the supposed underground subway. There are also four Ultra Balls inside this chest, so um, if you have lost too many and you don't want to buy any more, you can get some from there. So now, let's go over here and fight this trainer. Yeah, apparently she's a devotee. Well, what does Ryder Nellis have? She has, well, she does have a Shadow Pokemon. But well, firstly, she has Loudrun and Survivor. I wouldn't mind Survivor being a, um, a Shadow Pokemon, but we don't. So yeah, so we have um, a Poison type and a Normal type. So yeah, I can't do much with that. So I'm gonna have to use Fire Blast on Loudred and Psybeam on um, Survivor. And maybe I should have gone for um, in the air, but never mind. Um, another thing of note, Survivor has shed skin for its ability. And that means it can blow off any sort of um, um, status ailments very quickly. Another thing that both Wildred and Survivor have is Swagger, which boosts your attack, yes, however, it gives you confusion as well. So, yeah, not great. Um, so you I'm going to try and keep Burninator out on the field in order for him to do more damage, but let's see. Yeah, that was a decent amount of damage there. I'm going to say both use it on one Pokemon as a port to both of mine. So yes, down goes Survivor. And um, indeed, um, then we can level up Casper. Well done there. So now, Corsola. Again, uh, is this the Shadow Pokemon? No, it's not. And I think no. No, oh, they're just targeting my um, um, my Typhlosion. Oh well, so be it. Keep going with it. More fuel for the fire, I say. Um, although I am a little worried about um, the confusion. It's not really a status, but it does really hurt due to the um. Um, of course, the added attack from the Swagger. Sadly, um, because Corsola is, um, well, it is a um, uh, water and rock type, it can take down fire types, which is not great. I didn't want to keep Burninator out on the field for as long as possible, but it was not to be. So instead, um, let's bring in our next Pokemon then, um, which shall be Blubber Shield. Yes, even though um, um, Corsola is a Water type, we can at least do some damage to um, to Louder there. So let's take him out. At least I don't think Corsola has. Um, I don't think Corsola has the. Um, Swagger ability, which um, Loudred does have, so let's see. Well, never mind, Loudred's down now, so at least that's something. So, yeah, nice level up there. Well, not level up, no, I'm always, although I have got the experience share on the thing. And her shadow Pokemon is Sneasel, yes, an Ice Dark type. I suppose I could go for that. I must have a full thing. Although, Corsola does no confusory. Yeah. I think I should use that with the um, thingy there. I think I might, I'm not sure. Um, I don't think water type attacks will work though. Um, I can use Shadow Ball on Steezle, which would be super effective. And also no Screech, which really gets um, blocked your defense very quickly indeed. So now. Um, no, no, it's not very effective. Okay, no, I'm thinking those sabs are Yeah. But it does drop a special defense, at least. So let's see. Nope! Uh, poor Blubber Shield. Maybe I should bring Cleo, because, um... Although Corsler is also Rock-type, as well as uh, Water-type, for some reason, certainly in the uh, post, um... 
um, Johto games, um, strangely enough, um, electric attacks still affected despite it being a part rock type, which is very weird. So I say bring in Cubate. Well, fine, I'm gonna bring the Incubator. Let's see um, if it can do any damage. Nah, otherwise that would be totally illogical. Well, maybe not illogical. And it also knows Spike Cannon. It's one of those, but it was kind of like Fury Swipes and Pin Missile. Uh, right. So, I am taking a huge gamble here by putting QB in my party. Seriously, because, of course, it is a psychic type, but... Maybe now I can bring in Cleo. Yeah, because I can't use Archimedes. Archimedes is a flying type, of course, and it won't do any damage to him. Cleo, however, will, so... Let's go up with a good side beam on Corsola. It's down, very good. Or at least it looks like it was down. It should have been, it looks like... It, it doesn't have a focus band, but it looks, it looks like it might have well have had one anyway, so... Okay, I don't want to use... Um, why? It'll be a busted flush, I think. Okay, maybe I'll use one of my revives on Burninator here, because... Um, yeah, if I can find it. There we go. So yes, I have two revives, I might as well make good use of it. Come on back, Burninator, all is forgiven. Although I might want to actually um, do something about that. Don't know Shadow. I think Shadow Rush is affected by uh, static, but obviously not in this case. So down you go, Corsola. No fake focus bands for you. And, uh, yeah. So there we go. So now I want to use uh, the wave. Yes. Psybeam won't work, so I'm gonna try return and hope that Sneasel doesn't use um, a dark move on my um, um, Espeon here. Because if it does, it's not gonna come back from this. Okay, good. Yellow health, and then let's use a Thunder Wave to do the paralysis. And then I can use an Ultra Ball, I think. Yeah, Ultra Ball, I am not going to waste it on the Timer Ball, even though quite a lot of turns have passed. I might use Reflect just to pass out the turn if he doesn't work, so let's see then. Or oh, pad out the turn, should I say? So, let's see. Ultra Ball! And one! Nope, didn't work! Okay, I'm going to have to use Swift if he doesn't use a Dark-type move on the, the QB there. He's mostly attacking Cleo. Alright, paralysis kicks in. Uh, so, I'm going to try again with the Ultra Ball. Maybe use Swift. I don't know. Yeah, because uh, there's no point in using the uh, um, Burninator. It'll just KO the um, Dark Ice Weasel, so don't bother with that. So, uh, one. Two, three, and he's caught. Oh, she! Oh, Sneasel was a female. Um, she's caught! Are you trying to sing a song there, Nellis? Yeah, well, this game don't have voice acting, so I can't see how good you sing. Well, I'm guessing I'll have to indeed recover my Pokemon. And no, you can't use the lid to get back up, so... I'll see you in a moment! Okay then, we're back! So, now, um, indeed, now that Nellis is out of the way, we can actually go to the subway and, um, and, uh, find out if we can actually catch up with, um, where I say, Venus. Because she is getting away on that train. And she ain't going to... wherever. I know there aren't any um, more chests down there by the rather toxic looking pool. Wait, I'm that scientist guy? Would who wrote all those reports? 
Oh, stop being a drama queen. Okay, where are you gonna take me then? Uh, I think we need to get on that train. It looks rather newly there. But before I do, let's see what's in this chest. And it is some black glasses! Okay, that's a good item actually. I think it boosts dark type attacks. Um, well, um, that might be good for um, Casper actually. Um, so, yeah, I might give it to Casper. Um, so, now let's head to the left and get on the train! And indeed, let's see what's in here. It looks more like a freight train or something. The key? What key? Do we have a key? We don't have the jail key here! So yeah, we are missing one key. I don't get it. And um, apparently this kid is a... Oh boy. This really is reminding me of Detective Pikachu. Um, what?! And this thing's called a Shadow Liner. It's not a boat! It's a freight train! Freight train! Seriously, Nintendo! A liner is a cruise ship! Shadow Liner! Bloody hell! Uh, sorry, I am losing my mind here. Um, but apparently there's something shiny here, and apparently uh, Venus isn't so smart as she thinks she is. Because she just dropped the key. And don't like lean from Grandy as she didn't mean to. So, now let's actually get this train a moving, I think. Okay, let's actually move the train and... Okay, it floats. Again, I could be happy, but we had this technology in Tomb Raider. Mm -hmm. uh, so, um, when we get to the other end, um, we can indeed um, uh, get out and, um, well, um, head to the left. So now we are in the underground area of a shadow Pokemon lab. Um, yeah, I don't think so. Um, unless Lady Venus has dyed her hair ginger and now wears um, a denim jacket. Um, I don't think so. Run away! Run away! Now well, let's follow them. Uh oh, an explosion. I don't think we can go through there. No, they just Michael Beard that entrance, I think. So let's go to the right then. And what do you know? Another treasure chest. And this one has the U disc. Um, which, of course, um, actually allows us to use the um, UFO to go up. So we can actually go through the entrance. However, um, yeah, apparently they've created a hole in the floor. Oh boy, this is going to be a pain. Yeah, because they can't get over that either. Americanisms. Anyway, uh, what's to the right there? Well, a main gear key. Hmm. That will be useful if we uh, are able to go to the um, Shadow Pokemon Lab from the world map. Because if you'll remember a few episodes back, I did go to the Shadow Pokemon Lab, only to find out we could not go through the main gate because of the force field. That key will deactivate the force field, so yeah. So now what I want to do is use the um, subway to actually go back to the um, um, to the other end, so yeah. And, I will, um, and then we will actually use the U-Disc uh, to actually go up um, to see well, where it will take us. It will actually take us back up to Pyrite Town, believe it or not, to a secret area. So yeah, so I do want to do that before I end this episode. Yes, and in the next episode we're actually going to look at our first Coliseum. I suppose I should have done it earlier with Pyrite or maybe uh, the Fenac Gym. I don't think we can do the Fenac Gym just yet though. Um, which is weird. Um, 
But, um, yeah, we will look at the Undu Coliseum in the next episode. But, um, yeah, more looking at that. I've already been up um, Mount Battle, somewhat. I have not covered the whole area because I think it will be just too tedious to, to cover in this Let's Play, although it is a good grinding spot anyway. So, what about that guy? So, yeah, he's just standing there, unaware of, um, Maybe he's staying here! Maybe that's it. I've never spoken to him, but yeah, maybe that's it. Anyway, I'm going back up to the um, to the thing where I can recover my Pokemon, uh, but I'm not going to do that yet because, of course, I am going to take the UFO up to where Pyrite Town is, and then I will end the episode. So, indeed I will do that. So, down here, and um, let's insert the disc, and then we can actually um, um, go up, yes, very much up. Then at the very top of here, once we reach Fire Right Town, high above the thing, um, we will see that if we enter this room, we will get a second time flute, yes. So yeah, if you want to um, easily purify a Pokemon, you can use that. Anyway, I will see you next time for the Under Coliseum. Goodbye!